Hi guys and welcome to Assets Tech Tips. Today I'm going to try and find a little bit of information to modify how the iTunes uh, preference file works. Um, every time I plug in my iPhone and I try to do anything, it instantly goes to a backup. Um, the backup takes forever to do, it's driving me nuts. So a friend of mine told me that you can search and you can get a little bit of code to pop into the preference file to solve all of our problems. So that's what we're going to work at. So to start off, what we need to do is we need to go to your internet, whatever you use to browse the internet. And, um, we shall search for, let me think, Okay, now I'm going to be doing this for a Windows 7 operating system, which is very similar to Windows Vista. Um, that there would not be for Windows Vista or Windows 7, that's wrong. But this is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to copy that, open up Notepad paste it in there and we'll put that away for the moment. Now to show you what I'm talking about I'm just going to connect my phone now so we'll get iTunes going. Connecting the telephone we're going to get our phone pop up here and as you can see now starting the sync backing up and it's this process here that takes a really long time. So I want to try and get rid of that. So instead of it saying 1 to 4, it says 1 to 3. And it just goes directly to the sync so that you can get in and start doing what you want to do. So I'm going to cancel that because it takes a while. We can close down our iTunes. I'm going to unplug the phone. Now to start off, you're going to need to get a Notepad Double Plus. To do that, open up your browser, go to Google and type in Notepad++, click on the first link that comes up, it'll be this one here, choose download, select the latest one, save the file, and once the file's been saved you want to run it go through the installation process and stick a tick in the box to say put an icon on my desktop. Now we need to modify the iTunes preference.xml file and that is placed in the app data directory. Problem is the app data directory is a hidden file so for those of you who want to unhide your files in Windows Vista and 7 you go to start and type in view hidden. put a tick there, apply OK and that will sort that out. The way that I'm going to do it though is a little different. I'm just going to go Windows key and run and type in C program files, no sorry C okay so that there is the directory See if, if we go back, if we go back one, you can see app data there. That's what I was talking about. So by putting in a by doing it from the run box, it'll jump you past the, the security. Now we need to go into roaming, down to Apple Computer. Uh, we want to go to iTunes and um, there that's the file that we need to change so make a backup by right clicking choose copy blank area right click again paste it's always good to have a backup 
Now we want to copy this directory location, so highlight, right click, copy, close it down, open up your notepad, plus plus, file, open, and then get rid of that there and paste in your location that you just copied and hit enter. Choose the preference uh, file, click open, and we want to go to the user preferences. So find user pref, search, and it's right here where we want to enter in the information that we copied earlier on. So I'm just going to copy that there and paste it in here. Now, because iTunes is closed, we'll be able to save that. I'm going to close it down now and get rid of that. Um, I'm going to run iTunes. Okay, so plugging the phone back in now. And now, just before I do, pay attention to here for the phone popping up and here for what it does because it's going to be one out of three this time it'll skip backing up and go directly to syncing because I'm syncing my calendar so here we go there's the phone verifying and it should go directly to syncing There we go, thinking one out of three. And that's it. Now your iTunes is ready to put your new music on, take it off, do whatever you got to do. Um, but the process is an awful lot quicker. So that's a handy little tip that I heard of. And you can see there it's very easy to do. So I thought I should check it out myself and share it with the world. So if any of you have any questions or queries, just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.